something caught my eye out of my window. And these were the lunar mountains coming up the window. It was the first time humans had ever gazed at the dark side of the moon. It was a lot rougher than the front of the moon, the side that's always exposed to the Earth. We were like three school kids looking into a candy store window. Our noses were pressed against the glass. We forgot the flight plan. Then something happened that no one had predicted. When I looked up and saw the Earth coming up on this very stark, beat up lunar horizon, an Earth that was the only color that we could see, uh, a very fragile looking Earth, a very delicate looking Earth, I was immediately almost overcome with the thought, you know, here we came all this way to the moon, and yet the most significant thing we're seeing is our own home planet, the Earth. Their mission was to photograph the moon. Instead, all three men focused on the Earth. Bill Anders took the picture that showed humanity its home as it really is. Earthrise. All of the views of the Earth from the moon have uh, let the human race and its political leaders and its environmental leaders and its citizenry realize that we're all jammed together on one really kind of dinky little planet and we better treat it and ourselves better or we're not gonna be here very long. It was Christmas. NASA had planned a live television broadcast from around the moon. We were told that we would have the largest audience that ever listened to a human voice when we made our TV broadcast from uh, the moon on Christmas Eve. And the only instructions that we got from NASA, do something appropriate. The largest audience in history, the first words from another world. The choice was a dilemma. <laughs> 